Okay, you get to choose. We're gonna do this one. So I, I was thinking this morning. I was just sitting at my computer, going through going through my my motions as I do every morning, and I thought, as we talked about privately, I think we mentioned it on the show as well that. During SEC media days, when people were talking specifically about Mississippi State, nobody talked about defense. It was all Mike Leach, Will Rogers, offense, goofy quote about the tie, all this stuff, but nobody at all mentions defense. But when you look at the front six in that 3-3 defense, that could be a unit that's pretty damn salty, if we're being totally honest, especially... The linebacker position I like, but the whole unit it, it can, it can, has a chance to be like an upper-tier defensive front in the SEC. And nobody's even mentioned them at all. So, individual players or position groups, either one. Ole Miss, Mississippi State, who is being completely and totally overlooked, under-discussed, under-appreciated, whatever the case may be, hmm. on these two teams going into this season? So you're using Mississippi State's defensive line or front? The front six. So defensive line linebackers, those six guys. That's yours. Hey, Dad, Borky has taken one group off the board. Tell, tell Tell me what's being overlooked at Mississippi State. I don't disagree with his his assessment, first and foremost. Mississippi State's front six should be pretty good. A lot of Production there, a lot of guys coming back, plus Jordan Davis returns from injury. Should be good. But at Mississippi State, so I look, State had six of the top 50 pass catchers in the SEC last season. Six receivers. Six receivers. Not I'm not counting Dylan Johnson and Jaquavius Marks, who would have also been in there. And yet not a single MSU receiver. 12%, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you do eight, it's more. So – for State not to have a single guy seemingly getting any kind of all SEC uh, recognition, I mean, somebody in that group is going to catch 80 passes. Two more guys are going to catch 60 or 70. Somebody else is going to catch 40. Somebody in that group is going to finish the season first team all SEC the same way Mackay Polk did a season ago. You know, we, we talk so much about Rodgers, but he's got a ton of guys. He's got a lot of proven guys. And, you know, uh, in, uh, Wally, Williams, Ra Ra Thomas, I would consider him proven. Uh, Tulu Griffin played well last year. Put and then you've the added some more. talent there. Well, I agree with that. He'll start this year. And Jameer Calvin, another guy back for another year. And then, you know, you added two four star transfers from Georgia and from Northwestern. There's a lot of talent in the pass catchers for Mississippi State. That, that group is, is underrated, in my opinion. Well, and I mean, there's a tight end for Mississippi State that nobody's talking about. That, wait, sorry, check my notes. That's not right. Nope, don't have. No, Brad Cumbus got drafted by the Colorado Rockies. He's a he signed that contract. He's off to the Mile High City. Don't have any of those. So, a year ago, the transfer from Maryland, Chance Campbell, had a really, really big year for Ole Miss. He was. Cliche alert, the quarterback in the middle of that defense. He ran sideline to sideline. He played hard. Maybe, a, you know, size-wise he was good. He maybe a tick slower than what the NFL wanted to see or a tick smaller than what the NFL wanted to see. By the way, is he going to get a chance? Feels like it. I mean, a guy like him is especially valuable in special teams. No pun intended, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's where if he buys into that, which he will, uh, he'll thrive. And when you have to put him in a game, you know he's going to be in the right spot. But you mentioned yeah. he's uh, just a step slow to be like, you know, Michael Parsons. Right. Well, maybe a couple of steps slow to be Mark, Michael Parsons. But you understand no. the point. Great college linebacker. One year in the program, was wanted to play in a different environment, comes to the SEC. It worked out great for him. But he's one and done. And Jake Springer is gone. And so people are going, well, what about linebacker? Let me read this stat line to you. Actually, bio. Bio more than stat line. Combination of the two. First team All-Mac, team MVP, team captain, 
14 games, 13 starts, 91 tackles, 75 solo stops as a sophomore in 2019. 2020, first team All-Mac, second consecutive year. Played in six games with five starts, 42 tackles. Obviously, 2020 was the COVID year. 2021, third straight year, first team All-Mac. 11 games, started them all, 66 tackles, 12 tackles in the Sun Bowl win over Washington State. Who are you talking about, Richard? Troy Brown. Troy Brown, 6'2", 218-pound transfer to Ole Miss from Central Michigan. Is the MAC the same as the SEC? Of course not. MAC's good football, though. Well, and last year, his two best games statistically were Missouri and Washington State. Now, Missouri and Washington State, if one was in the SEC, would finish near the bottom. The other was going to finish near the bottom. However, it's the sample size you have to go with. Yeah. He's been a tackling machine. I mean, look, Chance Campbell played in the Big Ten. You know Big Ten speed's not as fast as SEC speed. He did just fine. Troy Brown has been playing in the MAC. Is MAC speed SEC speed? Nope. But those are numbers that don't lie. Right? I mean, especially at linebacker, you've either got it or you don't. Can we point to a guy from the state of Mississippi that Mississippi State and Ole Miss took a big old whiff? I'm talking about a monster whiff on. I'm talking about Jannard Avery out of Grenada who just went to Mm -hmm. Memphis and tackled like 400 guys in four seasons. To his credit, Some if I remember the story, tackling people. Yeah, if I remember the story correctly, uh, Matt Luke was lobbying hard to Hugh Freeze to sign him, and he wouldn't do it. Yeah, because he was only like a three star, right? Three star. Yeah, oh, is it gonna hurt can't your star ranking? Can't Hugh have Freeze those. Signing class. So can't have non wide receivers either. And, and I'm not saying that Troy Brown is Jannard Avery, but I'm just saying there's certain guys that it doesn't matter what league they play in. They put that helmet on and strap it on. They go tackle the guy with the football. And based on what he's done in his career prior to this season, Troy Brown could be that guy for Ole Miss this year. Ole Miss needs Troy Brown to be that guy. You know the other thing they need? They need for him to stay healthy because if he's going to fill the role that Chance Campbell played a year ago, he's never coming off the field. A little bit of a break from time to time would have been nice for Chance Campbell. Actually, might have made him more productive when he was on the field. They didn't have that luxury because they didn't have depth there. Troy Brown, guy that nobody's talking about, named the Butkus Award a watch list this week. I guess some people are talking about him. Very much under the radar, though, on the defensive side. 